Last time, we saw Fun go incognito as an insurer in order to swipe Red's insurance checks. Well, Fawn's poignant plan was a fantastic flop and was only salvaged when Ferris pulled Fawn's fanny from the fire after the real insurer showed up unannounced. I only went back because I forgot my hat. Unfortunately, Red wasn't as dumb as he looked, which was really saying something, and he sent a sniper after the delectable duo. Let's get back to HQ. As much as I hate to say it, Sniper! The goon took the shot, but Fawn was too quick. Looks like subterfuge is out the window on this caper. Fawn and Ferris quickly sped off out of range of the sniper. Not only did this sink Fawn's chicanery, but it also meant a fat bonus for Ferris, as she was only Fawn's personal assistant, and being shot at was expressly against her contract. Luckily, Fanny has a plan of her own. Tell it, girl. All right. Part two didn't work, so we're going on to my plan. A full assault of the raccoon compound. All the cash is there for the taking. And we'll have the element of surprise. Unlikely. After today's mess up, he's probably waiting for us, and by now has turned his home into a fortress. I'm telling you, Sheriff, they are coming for me. Look, we only have to hold out till tomorrow. Then we'll transfer the checks and cash to the bank, where they will be safe. Yes, but I'm not going to stake my entire force here. It just won't look good. I can't support you so overtly. People will notice. Oh, and people haven't noticed the robberies, shootouts, and fires? The pack have turned this town upside down over the past week, and all on your watch! Fine. I'll post most of the boys here, but I have to leave a few in town. Just in case. Fair enough. With your men in mind, the pack won't stand a chance. They better not, or else I'll be out of a job, and you... We'll be out of a laugh. Of course, Fanny and Fawn foresaw this division of detectives and adjusted their arrangements accordingly. Looks like the boss was right. Sheriff left some men here. It's six now. Shall we get this party started, sister? Let's. Hello, Mabel. Get me the raccoon estate. What? All right, hold tight. Help is on the way. Look, Red, the pack are shooting up my office. I've got to send some men. It's a trick for sure, to divide our forces. Yeah, but I can't just let them run rampant in town. I'll leave half the boys here. We'll be back soon. And with that, the sheriff left with a cruiser full of cops. Of course, Red was only half right. Not only was it a trick to divide them, but to conquer them as well with a good old ambush. Cops in town running for the hills, and the sheriff enjoying a barbecue, the pack marched a full foray, spraying the siding with a boatload of bullets, and sending the cops into conniptions. Did you see what they did to the sheriff? I saw the fireball from the roof! If they did that to him, what are they gonna do to us? And with that, the cops realized they weren't overpaid enough for this job, and promptly hit the bricks. Boss. What you want us to do? We're going to run out of ammo at this rate. Even the cops abandoned us. Can't say I'm surprised, though. Gotta save the money. It gotta save me. Uh, look, here's what we'll do. I'll escape, and by the time they work their way through you lot, they'll find me and my money gone. All righty, boss. Oh, hey, hold on a minute. But Red didn't have a minute and was gone quick as a flash. 
he dove into his car and took off with a roar. He was, unsurprisingly, quickly spotted. After him! Danny and the pack gave chase after Red Raccoon, much to the relief of his subordinates, who promptly all went out for a nice dinner. Red, however, drove his car like a maniac, weaving and swerving, all in an effort to keep the motorcycles away from him. And while it kept the bikes away, it didn't do much to keep the bullets away. Shot after shot they took, until Faith pulled off a Hail Mary shot and plugged a tire. <laughs> Ah, you red. Having a little trouble now, are we? Get the cash. Fanny! I, uh... <laughs> you bet big, red. Then you doubled down and doubled down again. You of all people should know that the house always wins. And in this scenario, you weren't the house. Y you know, Miss Fennick, with your brains and my business acumen, we could team up. <laughs> yeah, together we could take over this territory and make double, no, triple, what you got there. <laughs> w what do you say? I don't know. What do you think, Vaughn? Your flunkies have fled and you flushed your funds. You're finished, fiend. Absolutely finished. Sorry, Red, but it looks like we're going to pass on your little offer. We should get out of your hair anyways. After all... You've got a train to catch. A train? What are you? Oh, no. And with that, the pack finally finished their heist. And to think, if it wasn't for his greed, Red Raccoon could have been back at his casino instead of under the 415. Join us next season for a thrilling new tale of Fanny and the Pack. <laughs>